So in my last video, I talked about the discovering the water leak, and I thought today might be a good time to take that a little bit further and talk about problem-solving skills. We tend, as human beings, to focus on the problems, and what we need to be doing is focusing on solutions. And so in order to do that, we, we do have to define the problem. And so in, in my case, I was able to identify that in my 75 foot long driveway, I have a leak someplace underneath that driveway. The problem is I need to figure out where in the 75 feet of driveway is the leak. We need to simplify things. Um, and, and that's exactly what I'm doing there. So I'm defining the problem. It isn't that I have to tear up my whole driveway. It's the problem that I want to limit how much of my driveway I have to tear up. So I need to find out where this problem is. Um, brainstorming solutions, I thought, okay, well, my driveway is a giant thermal mass. It's collecting sunshine all day long. And so at nighttime, it is radiating that heat off of there and that the water, the leak, should be cooling that thermal mass. So that if I take an infrared thermometer and measure the heat radiated off of that thermal mass along the length where I think the water line is, I should see a, an issue. I should be seeing a change in the temperature. And that's exactly what I did. I went through, measured the temperature, and there was a section of my driveway that was 10 degrees cooler than the rest of it that's my leak. That's the spot right there where the leak is. So I'm thinking from multiple viewpoints trying to solve a problem and not just looking at this, oh my gosh, I have to tear this up. Create possibilities, create opportunities, and find the, 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 the most elegant solution to the problem. So with that, be safe, be well.